Thought I'd bring us up to date on the situation with this Royal Enfield Crusader 250 and the um, wet sumping and blowing out the breather issues and I've already fitted the brand new oil pump assembly that's in there there's the old one which had uh, the plungers were rather wobbly in that and I changed the oil in the engine and filled it up to the uh, high mark on a dipstick started it and rechecked the oil after stopping it a few times and adjusted the level probably ran it and stopped it about three or four times before I got the oil level to stay steady just below the high mark on a dipstick and then left it overnight last night came to it this morning and the oil level was bang on where I left it so nothing had gone into the crankcase which is always uh, a good sign so I decided I'd start the engine up and run it and warm it up and um, unfortunately although the oil level had held on a dipstick when the engine got running and got nice and hot we started getting oil spitting out this pipe that the owners added to the breather outlet uh, which he's put into this catch bottle now I know that the pipe appears to be folded a little but um, trust me it is allowing the engine to breathe out and if necessary well not in because there's discs in the breather assembly that control that. But, a couple of little things. I took the breather assembly off and I know that the owner, I suggested to him before he brought the bike to me that he looked at the breather because uh, he mentioned the uh, oil spewing out the breather pipe. And I said to him to make sure that he had the two discs that live inside that breather body uh, which are a vital and important part of the breather and how it works and sure enough as I've seen on a few of them here myself he said there were no discs in there so he bought discs for it fitted them and I just thought I'd take a look at it because obviously there was still a problem and the discs that he bought came from Hitchcock's and rather than being the old metal discs they are now a sort of fibre disc and they are saucer shaped very slightly slightly concave or if you tip them over convex whichever way you like anyway I thought I'd take a look well in the faffing around to get this off I didn't know which way up the discs had been put in but I made sure that I put them in that way up so that crankcase pressure can blow them up off the seats and let any pressure out but when they drop you get a good seal around the edge of the disc against the face of the thin metal plate that they rest on so uh, I don't know which way round they were prior to that I don't know which way the owner might have fitted them but to my mind they are probably the best way round now that way up um, another little thing that I noticed I had considered possibly putting a pinhole in the filler cap like I've seen on some machines but I'm not going to do that because it turned out when I had it running I was monitoring what was coming out of that breather pipe into the bottle and when I slackened the filler cap off with the oil tank the amount coming out of the breather pipe increased so obviously the engine is able through all the little passageways and everything the crankcase is able to draw air in when the piston rises up towards top dead centre it will draw more air in more easily if this is loose so I've got that fastened down dead tight and I think I've reached a point now where when I've got the engine running I can have it ticking over and there's virtually nothing spitting out the pipe which there was before and I can also hold I'm guessing an estimated three maybe four thousand rpm for a minute or more and it's fine like that the oil it spits oil out the breather pipe after you've held it with a bit of revs on and you let it fall back to a tick over and I think what that is is probably the oil the crankshaft spinning faster when you hold it at about 3000 revs or whatever uh, the oil pumps working faster as well the oil's getting flung around however it gets flung but when you throttle off I think what's happening is the oil the excess oil has been flung around comes back down the walls a little bit or gets picked up and flung by the flywheel whatever 
and a little bit comes out the uh, breather pipe at tick over for the first few seconds and then it settles down and stops. Um, the owner also told me that uh, he reckoned he was getting about 150 mil or so of oil collected in this bottle rather quickly so what I'm going to do next after lunch is a bit drizzly now but I think it might be uh, easing off the rain is go for a test ride on it and see what happens um, on the road because it's all well and good testing it on the bench holding it at a steady engine speed and getting it probably a bit overheated as well uh, there's nothing like a real world test so I think I'm going to take it out on the road get a few miles on it and come back and then we'll have a look at what's in the bottle after that that's uh, probably the best way so that'll be what I intend to do next